Hey, let's talk about how an aircraft stalls. Here we have a little toy, looks like a Cessna. We're gonna kind of demonstrate with this and then we're gonna go in a deeper wing level for the flow around these wings to show you guys how an aircraft stalls. Here we have the attitude of the aircraft, right? The pitch attitude is changing right here. Now, what this does is it changes the angle of attack. The angle of attack is the angle of the relative wind, which is the the movement of the air in the opposite direction of the aircraft, that angle with the cord line of the wing. Now, to demonstrate this, I'm gonna have to show you on the iPad to show you what the cord line is. The first thing we wanna talk about is this shape. It's called an airfoil. It's the cross section of a wing. So if we were to cut off our wing, right this way right here that cross section which we would see right there that's going to be something like this shape and that's what the flow of the air sees the air is flowing above and below we have the relative air in blue we have the airfoil in black now the cord line is a important line to know because it helps us determine the angle of attack. The cord line is a line drawn from the forwardmost point of the wing to the aftmost point of the wing airfoil. So if I draw this in red, it's a straight line from the forwardmost point to the aftmost point. That's called the cord line. Now, the angle of attack is the angle between this cord line and the relative wind. So if I draw a yellow line for this, kind of a yellow dash line, this angle right here, which we'll call theta, that is going to be the angle of attack. Again, it's the angle between the red cord line here and the relative wind here. So as we're flying along and we start to increase our pitch attitude like this, the flow is gonna be like this, and that angle of attack is going to increase. So you can see the angle of the wing cord line, which is basically right here in line with our wings, is going to increase. Right? Now there is a point. So the lift goes up with the angle of attack. The higher angle of attack we get, the more lift we get. It's almost linear. And it continues that linear relationship where lift continues to increase with angle of attack until you get to a certain point. And that's called the critical angle of attack. This is everything that stalls are about. When you reach that critical angle of attack, you lose lift. And we're gonna talk about what exactly you're losing, how that is working. Lift increases with angle of attack almost linearly until you get to the critical angle of attack and then you start dropping out of the sky because you have stalled. So what is happening at this critical angle of attack? So we're back here with our airfoil. Now remember we said that the air flows above and below and what it does is it actually follows along the shape above and below of the airfoil. Now when it follows along the shape and it stays attached to the shape of the airfoil, it's called laminar flow or attached flow. When your angle of attack increases past the critical angle of attack, the flow simply can't turn this sharp of a corner. It cannot stay attached to the top of the airfoil because it just can't turn that corner. The momentum of the air flowing past it is just too much and it can't stay attached here. So what actually happens is it becomes unattached here and you get these things called vortices. You get turbulent flow on the top of your wing. Now lift is all about a pressure differential between the top up here and the bottom of your wing. So you might have it still attached down here. You're getting a pressure down here, but now when it doesn't stay attached up here, you lose that pressure differential, that positive pressure differential for your lift and you have this turbulent flow up here. That causes all your lift to be destroyed and creates a stall condition. And this happens when you reach that critical angle of attack. So until we reach that critical angle of attack, the air flowing above the wing is able to turn that corner. But once it gets to a certain point, that angle is just too much for the air. It can't stay attached. It gets turbulent and you lose lift. So to recover from a stall, it's actually pretty simple when we think about it this way. Right, we're over here, we're at the critical angle of attack. We're, we've lost attached flow on the top, so we're in a stall condition. What do we have to do to this angle? We just have to change this angle to be less than the critical angle of attack so that that flow can stay attached above and below. Our wing, we get flow back over the wing, back over our control surface. We're able to control our aircraft, and we do that by pitching our nose down attitude and gaining airspeed. If we have power off, then we add power, those sorts of things. So those are the procedural things you'll learn in flight training. But what's really happening is you're getting that flow back attached to the wings.